this video I'll be doing a complete walkthrough of the NVIDIA Broadcast Studio. I'll be going over the specs your computer needs to have this to work on your computer, how to download and install the software, and how to use all the features that the NVIDIA Broadcast Studio has such as the camera feature, the microphone feature, and the speaker feature. In addition, I'll be showing you how to use these features in other applications such as OBS, Zoom, and other video conferencing applications. Timestamps and links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest, then feel free to check it out. Now at first you might think that any computer can use this application and that's not the case. To download the NVIDIA Broadcast app, you will need to have an operating system of Windows 10, 64-bit or Windows 11. You also need to have a GPU that is either NVIDIA RTX A2000 or NVIDIA RTX Quadro 3000 or the GeForce RTX 2060 or the Titan RTX. The minimum amount of RAM that is required is 8GB of RAM. If you have more RAM then that would be even better. Now for the CPU, it is recommended that you use Intel Core i5-8600 or higher or the AMD Ryzen R5-2600 or higher. If you meet all these requirements then you will need to make sure that your NVIDIA drivers are up to date and you also need to have internet connection while you're installing the app. If you don't meet this requirement then don't be discouraged because there are other apps such as FaceTime that offers these features. So if for some reason you're on macOS you can always check out the FaceTime features because those are really good. You have like a tracking feature, you have like the blur feature, I believe you can replace the background, you can do nice reduction and all those stuff. So please check out the operating system that you use and see what kind of application have these features. Alright guys, so to install the NVIDIA Broadcast Studio app, you're going to type in NVIDIA Broadcast Studio app and go to this link right here and then click on download now. And then it's going to install right here. Then you're going to click open right there and it should install. Just hit yes and let it do its thing. Shouldn't take that long depending on your internet speed and your computer speed. Just hit accept, continue, just do the express one unless you want to do some custom settings. But for me, I would recommend the express installation. Let it do its thing. This might take some time depending on your internet speed, but let it just do its thing. All right, so basically you're finished. Just hit close right here. And you should be done pretty much nice and easy. You see it's loading up right now. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how to use the microphone inside the NVIDIA Broadcast Studio app real quick. So first thing first, you're going to want to turn on the NVIDIA Broadcast app by double clicking on the icon right there. And it should take some seconds to pop up. And right there, you can see. So now you're going to see... Right there, you should see default device and you're going to want to click on the down arrow and select the PNP, the USB PNP. That is if you're plugged in by the USB like I'm doing right here. So if you're plugged in by the USB, you should go ahead and select that. So once you select that right there, you can go ahead and add a different effect. So now currently by default, I have the noise removal added and now I can add the echo removal also so turn it on and I'm going to demonstrate this to you guys as best as possible right now all right guys so currently I'm recording and you can hear this footstep in the background and it's really loud you're hearing it in my microphone on my phone but you're not going to hear it in this microphone so I'm going to go ahead and record right now while I'm stamping my feet hello guys welcome back to our next video are you hearing my feet stamping? I'm talking while my feet is stamping and we're going to play it back right now. Hello guys, welcome back to our next video. Are you hearing my feet stamping? I'm talking while my feet is stamping and we're going to play it back right now. 
So you can see you didn't hear any footstep and the footstep was really loud. You could hear it in my phone, but not in the microphone on the computer because of the NVIDIA Broadcast Studio app. Now that is how you use it. Um, For me personally, I don't really see that much of a difference with the background removal, the room echo removal. I don't really see any much of a difference, but the noise removal, that really works. I would say just try to test it out with the noise removal first. And if it doesn't really sound like it's removing the noise, which it should remove the noise, then you're going to turn on the echo removal also, which I said, it doesn't really work. I don't know if my background is just not loud enough or having a lot of echo, so I don't really see the difference. But honestly, I don't really see the difference with that. So let's move on to the speakers. Now that we have the microphone out of the way, let's take it out of the way. And let's show you guys how to set up the speakers inside the NVIDIA Broadcast Studio app. So open up the app again. If you closed it, and it should pop up in a couple seconds. So there you go. Go to the speaker tab and just click on the default device that you want to use. So for me, I wanna use my computer speakers, which is this one right here, click on it. And I'm gonna play this sample that it comes with. So let's play this sample right here. Hi there. This is a test message with air conditioning in the background. Normally, it'd be difficult to carry a conversation with someone as a result of this background noise. But with NVIDIA's AI-powered noise removal, distracting sounds can be removed so you and your audience can hear loud and clear. You can test this feature by turning it on and off in the menu or adjusting the strength of the effect. So right there, you could hear like an air condition in the background while he's talking. I'm not sure if you're hearing it on my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that noise removal and see if it works. Hi there. This is a test message with air conditioning in the background. No so right away, you're not really hearing any air condition at the moment. You're not hearing it at all, to be honest. And that is the power of the NVIDIA Broadcast Studio app right there. So you can also do the echo effect on this also, which I said I don't really hear the difference, but you can do it if you want and you can test this it out. This audio sample has both an unwanted echo and noise in the background. Normally, this message would be difficult to understand, but using NVIDIA Broadcast's AI... So that one doesn't have echo, so I'm going to turn off the echo and you listen to it now. This audio sample has both an unwanted echo and noise in So right there you can hear the loud echo right there. So it really makes a difference. This can be very useful. Like said, let's say you're on a conference call and the person that you're listening to have an air condition in the background, you can always just use this and filter out all those noise. It's a really good feature. So yes, that's it for the speaker features. Alright guys, this is how I use the NVIDIA Broadcast Studio app camera feature. But before I show you the camera feature, I want to thank Asdom for sending out this awesome webcam to me to check out. The box that it comes in is very simple and clean. Inside the box you get the webcam of course, the manual which you know we don't read around here because manuals don't make any sense. So after the manual you get this nice microfiber cloth. I really like the fact that they added a microfiber cloth in the box because your webcam often get dirty over time and the microfiber cloth is perfect to clean it. On the camera it has a AI noise cancelling microphone which makes the sound of the video more cleaner and smoother. It also surprisingly comes with a built in speaker which simplifies your workspace. I said surprisingly because it is the first time I'm seeing a webcam with a speaker on it. Check this speaker out, you won't believe this sound. I said you felt that way and Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I hope the microphone on my phone is doing justice guys. This speaker really sounds good. Honestly, it sounds better than my computer speakers right here. Like seriously guys, I wasn't expecting such a good speaker from a speaker on a microphone with a camera. It really sounds good guys. Like for this small, it kind of giving you like a bass feel also. Not really a powerful bass, but it does sound better than my computer speaker, which is really surprising, guys. All right, guys, so while I'm at it, I'm just going to test out the microphone on this camera also. So right here, you can see I don't have any effects on. So let's press record and let's see. Hey, guys, welcome back to our next video. I don't know if this microphone is sounding good. Let me know in the comment section. So let's play that back. And let's see. Hey guys, welcome back to our next video. I don't know if this microphone is sounding good. Let me know in the comment section.
uh it's all right it's not the best but it's all right it's it's really low it's really low guys compared to my iphone and my microphone but it gets the job done i'm not really that surprised with this uh, microphone but the speaker guys the speaker guys is something else i would just say the microphone is just decent guys i'm trying to give you guys my honest opinion here so yeah decent microphone but really good speaker i think it should have been the other way around but yeah it is what it is the microphone on the speaker also makes your desk setup more cleaner since you don't have to plug in a headphone or a speaker to hear your audio in terms of video quality, it has a 2K QHD resolution camera with high color rate reproduction. It also has a smooth picture quality at 30 frames per second. The camera won't give you a mirrorless camera quality, but it will give you a better camera quality than the one that comes with your computer. The webcam also comes with this simple feature which gives you the option to cover your webcam. So if you're one of those person who think that there's some hacker watching you all the time, you can just simply roll the privacy cover over your camera to block out those hackers. The only downside to this webcam is that if your computer only have USB type C, then you have to buy a adapter because this webcam only use the regular USB. However, all you need to do is just plug this in for it to work. No need to install any drivers with this webcam. All right guys, so let's show you how to use these camera features inside the Nvidia Broadcast Studio app. So open up NVIDIA Broadcast to the app real quick. Once it open up, you're going to go to the camera tab real quick. And you're going to want to make sure you select the camera that you plugged in, which is the 2K webcam for me. And click on that and you should see my beautiful face right there. So now you can add a background blur, which I already add. So I'm going to add it again. Um, you could increase the strength if you want it to be not as like obviously blurred but blurred you can always increase your strength from way down there to all the way up there you can see and you can also do like a background replacement um you can replace it with whatever you want in the background for me i'm using one of chevron's wallpaper right here let's change it to maybe the purple probably that will look even better look at that really nice really nice cutout right there guys you can also do like a whole complete background removal if you this is like a green screen if you're like streaming and stuff like that it is really nice guys like look at that i'm doing this without a green screen as you guys can see let's let's just show you guys my background again see my background is green yes but it's not like a green screen or something like that so yeah that's what really, that would be really handy for like streaming and even like if you're doing like a conference call and you want to look really cool on screen you don't want them to see your background or something like that and one of the, my favorite features is the one right here which is auto frame which is already on you can see clearly if i move it move with me my hands are right there i'm not touching the camera i can literally move and the camera move with me i can zoom all the way in on my face and when i move the camera will move with me i can zoom out a bit if i want like that and once you zoom out the more you zoom out the less the camera would move because then you will be in the frame but if you zoom in like this then and you move here the camera will be moving because it's trying to keep you centered in the frame which is really nice and you can also do like a video noise removal i'm not sure what this does maybe you'll see a difference if your camera quality is like not that good but for me i'm using a 2k camera so i don't have much noise in my video to take out so yeah i'm not really seeing much of a difference there but all right so now those are all the features that are in the nvidia broadcast studio app Nvidia might add more AI features in this app as time goes by because at first they only had the microphone features and now they have the camera and the speaker feature. Now those features are all cool and all but if you don't know how to use them in other applications then you won't be able to show off them to your friends while you're streaming or doing a video conference call. Alright, so let's say you're streaming and you want to use these features. What you want to do is to first make sure the NVIDIA Broadcast Studio is running in the background. Then go to OBS, click on that microphone setting icon. Click on the drop down menu for device 
and click on the one that says microphone with the nvidia broadcast in the bracket for speakers you'll also do the same click on the speaker settings icon click on the drop down menu for the device and click on the one that says speaker with the nvidia broadcast in bracket for the camera it's a bit different first you'd want to add a source video capture device by default, it might have your webcam that comes with your computer or the external webcam that you connected. You'd want to click on the device drop down menu and select the one that says camera with NVIDIA broadcast in bracket. After that, you should be all set with the NVIDIA broadcast through the app feature in OBS. Alright, so let's say you're doing a video conference on Discord and want to use these NVIDIA features. Similar to OBS, all you need to do is set the NVIDIA broadcast as your inputs. In the video conference call, click on the microphone, you see the microphone with the NVIDIA in the bracket and also the speaker with the NVIDIA in bracket. Just go ahead and select those and you should be good with the audio and the microphone. For the video, you do the same. Just select the one that says camera with the NVIDIA broadcast in bracket and that is it. I could also show you how to do this on WhatsApp and other video conferencing app but it would be similar to what I did in OBS and Discord. Just find the input and output settings and select the ones that says NVIDIA in bracket. I hope after watching this video you are able to use NVIDIA Broadcast Studio app efficiently and take advantage of all the AI features that it offers. If this video was helpful then give it a like and also comment down below so other viewers can know that it was helpful. Also, if you have any question about this software, please comment it down below and I will respond to you. If you reach this found the video, please comment NVIDIA with a green circle emoji so that I know that you reach this far. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see my deck setup, then check this video out. Peace.